hello everyone so today i'm going to show you how to create this uh, top down shooter using the same character that we have uh, worked on in the third person shooter series so here as you can see i am using the same character who can do shooting and everything just like there but in a top down view mode so here i can shoot and as you can see Fire! the <clears throat> character ai system and everything works just like before so yeah so here the base character is based on the ALS system so but I have override the player controller and the camera manager and then you can see the all the targeting system and the reticle also is modified to match a top-down game mode but the rest works just like before you can see this uh, ammo counters and all the systems all right now let's see how to do this today in the first part i'm going to focus on the player controller how to get this top-down style v mode and how to match the movement inputs with this view, uh, to work with this view mode and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without any limits and also here is the older series that i worked on the third person character so even though the tutorials are old they are still valid and you can still follow them and create what I, what you see here so yeah now let's get into today's episode all right so the first thing is uh now let's go into a new map maybe a basic map so we don't have any distractions and then here if I go to window, world settings, here I have the ALS game mode, single player game mode. So if I enable that, you can see this is what I have. I can do all those things that I was able to do. Right, so now in order to create a different uh, top-down game mode here this is where I have the original game mode so I'm gonna duplicate this and create a new game mode so first let me under BP let me create a new folder top-down okay and then let's create a duplicate of this game mode go up here now um, I'll name this top down game mode and then instead of this I'll use the top down game mode but everything is same as before you can see here all right now uh, the first thing I want to change is the player controller class. Now I'm gonna create a player controller. I'll call it CLM top down player controller. Okay, now if I start using this player controller in place of here, now let's see what happens. As you can see, uh, my character, I can't move. First thing is I can't move. And I am, my, character, my camera is inside the character. Okay, uh, first let me save this map. Top down demo. 
Well, the reason that I can't move is if I open this drop down player controller, here I haven't initialized the input mapping. If I show you the original player controller, there I have this part. I need to have I get this enhanced input local player subsystem and add the mapping context uh, to the player control otherwise this will not work but I already have those components so I just have to implement them here so get enhanced input subsystem oh wait not this one This one. No, there shouldn't be this dot. Right, this one. And here, I'll do a value check. Add map in context. Mm, drag a line from here. And here I have default mapping context and player mapping context. I'll choose player. If you don't know what this is, it's this one. For each input actions, you have this mapping context. And under mappings, you have defined the actions and key combinations. So this is what you are going to give here okay now mm, now if i play now i can move but my camera is still not good so here if i select this uh, actors default if i select this class defaults you can see there is an option for me to define player camera manager so it's currently none if it is none uh player camera man cam player camera class should be set for each game otherwise engine player camera manager is used so let's create a camera manager now for that I'll go back to my top down folder. Passes camera manager. Let's select the player camera manager as the parent and top down camera manager. CLM top down camera manager. Okay. Now, now actually, we don't really need much here. So, all I need to do for now is up, uh, overriding this update camera function. So, here I need to queue the camera location, rotation, and field of view. And make this true otherwise these uh, things that i output here will not be applied so in order to have the top down view i need to have my camera above the player character with some angle so let's get at the location and then i'll add some values to this maybe 500 units above and also i need to have an angle so 500 in x direction let's see what happens now here no not yet oh wait 
I didn't assign the camera manager. ELM top dot camera manager. Okay. Now here you see it's all blue. Let's return 90 as the field of view. Okay. Now we can see our camera is above the player, but we are not really seeing the player because we are not looking at the player. We need to look down. So here as the camera rotation, I'll give, let's do this. Find look at rotation from this point to the character. Okay. Yeah. See? Now here you can see the character. And as you can see, wait, this is now I'm pressing D. The character is not really aligning with the camera. So I'm not really sh I can't really uh, plan my moments because they are not really relative to the direction that we are looking at so here i'm pressing w it's going this way and when i move the character character tries to turn as well okay now let's fix the moment now so for that let's see als player but the moments are defined i think yeah in this ALS base character this is the uh, parent of all these characters you see here okay now if i go to the event graph that's a lot but don't worry we only need to find the moment part i think it's here in the moment graph let's search i a moment right here this is the moment input and this is for forward this is for side okay now here we get the direction from this get control forward and right vector function so here what it does is get control rotation and from this we get the yaw and calculate forward and write like this well now instead of using the control what if we use the camera so let's try that here yeah. get player camera manager and get camera rotation and split this get yo now it should work okay, yeah now here i am using w a d s so now the moments are working correctly all right that's great so the next part is figuring out how to do the, sh do the shooting so as you can see here if i in equip the weapon and press shoot it is shooting but it's not exactly aiming i don't really see where i am going to shoot let's look into that in the next episode and thanks for watching as always you will find the updated projects here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and this episode is sponsored by adam Ogler, this generous patron thank you very much for your support